Hello, hi, and welcome to another Tia video. Uh, if you are wondering, I am wearing these shades because I have a slight headache and there's a huge bright light that shines on me here. So my eyes would burn, so I'm wearing these. Um, yeah, last time we talked about uh, faceplates. We started making them. We have created these two, right, which, is, which are instances of the same faceplate that is called Valve. So if I want another one, I'll just drag and drop more in there. Right. So, uh, of course, those could be more complex, but keeping it simple for just the basics here. Um, right now, the thing is, those don't do anything. <laughs> you see, they still have headline on top. They don't display values. Uh, usually, you would link those to a PLC right? and display PLC variables there. What we will do today is a very simple, very easy. I will just out of the faceplate. Right now, this is the simulated HMI, the simulated values. Uh, I will just have a slider for the first um, valve and the slider for the second, and those should control the valve in reality. And that should be possible to see on the faceplate. So I'll just grab a slider for valve two. I'll grab a slider for valve one. Those are just simulated, so uh, like, like those are just serving for the simulation, just for show purpose. So I grab my slider here, I'll put it in properties. And last time we have already talked about the interface of the faceplates. The first faceplate here has connection to uh, variables that are called valve one and the second one valve two. So for the second one, I'll connect the slider to this valve two variable, um, this one there. But and I will do the same for valve one. I'll just copy and paste this thing here. And I'll do the same here. And that's not valve two, that's valve one. Um, I'll also put like an LED indicator for both if this is running, if the valve is running. In reality, of course, you would just see the LED running. <laughs> and this could also be in the faceplate basically, but I just want to show you that it works. Um, so this should, they will get an animation, they will get an appearance animation, they will both listen to this opening level. The first one is, uh, not opening level, no, 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 uh, the running. If the valve one is running using the open button, it is, it should be green, if not, it should be gray or something. Let's choose that here, very quick, very dirty. You, you don't have to do that for faceplates usually. This is just because I want to do it, like I want to display what's going on there. Um, rather than having a real physical valve, I'm using this just for show. But it could be a physical valve, it could be also PLC variables. So here we go. I got this connected, so let's see if I run, you will see nothing is going to happen on these. Right? I press open, nothing happens, open close, nothing happens, I play around with the slider, nothing happens. If this would be the real valve, val uh, variables from the real valve, of course we should be able to see those on top here. And that's what we're going to do now. We have created this. So now I'm going to slow down again a little bit. We have created this interface last time, right? In the interface, we have this open and opening level. This interface is the same for both. We just put another dynamization, meaning another um, interface variable on there. So this one communicates to these two variables. This one communicates to these two. Now we need to internally say, how are these two controlled internally? Like what is happening in there, in the faceplate with those? The upper one should display the opening level. The lower ones, the open and close button should control the running. So let's do this. To do so, of course, I can right click and edit the faceplate, or I can go to libraries and to my valve and you see I do not have an open version. Right click, open, edit, whatever I can open or edit. I think edit would be the right thing. Edit should open a new version. There we go, version 006. And there we have it. <clears throat> so now we are looking at this strange window here in the middle. Right? I have on the right side, I have my faceplate properties. Like this is my interface here. Those two are my interface. They can be controlled somehow from the outside, looking at variables from the outside. Now this opening level should of course come from the um, from from this slider and that's what we already set on the outside but what does it do inside there is no connection here in between we have to create an, an in between this here is on the outside 
and this here on the left side is on the inside. So we need to decide this opening level. Where does it go on my inside here? Of course, it should go to my bar. I can also select it on top here. And you see, whatever I have selected is also selected in the list. I want in my bar, that value should go in there. So I open the bar and you see there's a lot of things we could control now with this. We can basically control it completely. What's the size, what's the colors, and also what is the value. And the value we find in general, um, and there is the so-called process value. So what we can do is just take this, drag and drop it over there. It's really just drag and drop. There we go, drag and drop, and you see, boop, it is now connected. One thing that I don't like is internally the slider uses the type double. We need to check the data type. It should be type int, of course. Come on, let me change it. There it goes. Sometimes double click doesn't work <laughs> very fine here. So if I save this now, um, I can just release this version. So let's release the version. Let's see how that looks like. Update instances in the project. So we have those two that we already used. They are connected to it. They are updated automatically. Let's check this out. Here we go. So we now linked this internal to the external. So if I use the slider, you see now this, this is a valve opening from the PLC. I'm just simulating it here with the slider. And you see the faceplate actually uses this value. The right one uses this value. So that's fine. We just need made one adjustment and that made an influence, could have made an influence to hundreds of valves. Right? The second one is this um, little LED. Let's call this an LED in this case. Um, and it should indicate if the valve is open or closed. Um, yeah, the variables are already linked. What we need to do is go into the faceplate, edit the faceplate and make that like make that change. So we have this here on the right side already, this open variable that is connected to everything. Um, what we still need is to connect both buttons to it. So here on the left side, I have the button and you see there's many things I can do with it. What we can also do is down here in our inspector, that's the inspector window down here. If you click on the button, you will see under general, um, pro uh, no properties and there you have events, like you always use buttons, right? That's, that's the same as always. So I go to events and there I have my press event. If this button is pressed, the valve should open. If this button is pressed, the valve should close. So let's just do that. Um, on press, we want to set a bit. So set bit, right? We can also choose that from the drop down here and there is edit bits and set bit, but that's just general HMI stuff, right? Um, and there we need to now control a tag. What we want to do is we don't want to control a general like, like a tag directly, like the valve one open or valve two open. We want to control this one here, the open. Right. So we can do that by pressing on the uh, three dots here. And there you see properties. Now, do you see these properties? I could now manually take one of those tags from a HMI or PLC, which of course would not be the right thing to do. We want to go to properties and there we have open. Look at the little arrow here. There's going to be a new one. If I hit OK, boop, you see now button. Button one is connected to open, which makes sense. That's what we have. We also want to link the second button. So I'll just redo it on the close. Uh, I want to go to properties events on press. I want to reset a bit. So reset a bit. And I want to reset that exact bit that we just took, which is this open here. Reset bit properties this open. Okay. Um, that's it done. I can now release this version clicking on top here, release the version. I want to update all my instances. I hit okay. And going back to my screen here on the left side, I will just simulate it again and then I haven't tested it <laughs> before I should have tested it. If I open, you see valve one is open. If I close valve one is closed for the second one, open, close works the same way, right? And that still works as well. Perfect. You see, it's pretty easy to, to work around with those. Um, there's hundreds of parameters. So let's make one more version here. Actually, do you see the headline? headline and headline it should be valve one and valve two that's a little bit stupid so we will change that so i can just go to my valve right click edit the type 
version 007. Um, and there we have the headline. You see how many parameters each of these things has. So we could control way, way, way more. Right? One example of doing it a little bit different. In before, we have created a new property here, a new interface. We can also do that by just selecting here on the left. I, I just select the element I want to interface to. I want to use from the outside, which is my text field. I can open this up here. And there you see, I could take layout. Like I could take what flashing, is it on, is it off, is it flashing, is it not, is it, what's the color? No, I want in this case general, there's the text. You can just take that text, just drag and drop this to the right side here, and it will automatically create that link to the outside, the interface. Right? So I can now release this version. It's version 08 already, <laughs> 008. I'll go back to my um, interface here. And you see those two are still called headline, but if I click on them, go to properties, go to my interface, you now see there is a text. That's the one we just added. Right? as a text and I can now change this to another static value. I can now say this one here is valve one and this one here is valve two. Pretty simple, pretty easy, right? You just need to know where it is. <laughs> and there is way more. It can get way more complex, of course. But see, now valve one, valve two, they work perfectly fine. If you would like different colors here also, you can do that all in the interface there. It, there's everything is possible. I won't show you exactly how now. You can play around a little bit with this on your own, I would I would um, say. That shouldn't be a problem. The basics have been covered here. <clears throat> I'm thinking I might even make a third video, so keep your eyes open on, the, on my channel, on my playlist for this. Um, if there's a third video, you will know it, it's on there. <laughs> um, because there's also a way to connect UDTs to it and make it even, even better, right? Um, but that's the basics. That's all you would need, actually. That's the basics and that's covered. If you've got questions to this, put them in the comments below or even better, put them in our forum. Right. There we have it in our forum. There's a link in the description below to this forum, which I should act more frequently in. I'm sorry, only have so much time. Um, but great participation, everyone. Um, if you want to support me, just go use the other link in the description below. 75 bucks, that's insane. Thanks, Anonymous. And thanks, Deniska, as well uh, for the five bucks. Perfect, that's awesome. Thanks, and thanks, someone shared this, awesome. So if you want to support me, share this, share my channel. Right? Share my channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends about it. If you want to toss some coin my direction, use the link in the description below. Not mandatory, that's fine. Liking this video, mandatory, you have to do it. And I'll see you the next time around. Have a nice day, stay safe and healthy and bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs>